Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 48 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to format tables inside of Adobe InDesign. So right now in order to format and design the uh, table, I need to make sure to remove this line right here, which is actually a wireframe that uh, InDesign actually prepares. So uh, in order to do that, I'm going to go into view and I'm going to go into, uh, let's say I'm going to go into uh the display let's go let's go to view over here i'm gonna go into extras and hide 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 frame edges all right there you go and once i do that you can actually see that the frame edges are gone and now i can clearly see my designs so uh in order to add in the design what i can simply do is i can actually go to table and go to table option and table setup right here so on the table setup you can see that the preview checkbox is turned on so make sure that you turn it on so you got the body rows and columns right there and footer rows and header rows and so forth so if you want to add in a table border you, <coughs> you can actually disable it and enable it you can actually enable the table border as you can see and you can even choose the type of the table border just like this so you say let's say for example you want a dash table border you can do that quite easily right there so I'm gonna uh, decrease the size of this just like this and you can see that you have the table border right here and even the gap color you can see it as paper so I can actually change the color of the borderline as well and the main color will be green as well maybe a uh, darker blue so you have a special uh, color like there you can even change the color just like this so you can have a spacing as well so you can add a spacing a before and after as well to change the space from the borders so you can go to row strokes as well. So you can have an alternating, pat alternating pattern of the rows. You can see that I have different row stroke now er or every third row as you can see just like that. So let me have every other row. And now you can also choose the type of the row that you want to add in. I'm just going to uh, add in solid there. I'm going to add in blue and I'm going to add in uh, blue over here as well, but a lighter one. So you can see that you have those colors right there. Uh, you can also like increase the weight of this so you can see that that is more prominent just like this. All right. So you can also skip the first row and you can see that I can skip the rows as well. Uh, just like that. So I can also like, uh, let's say, have none and uh, that actually um, enables all the rows to be shown. So if I want none of the rows to be visible, I can actually do this. So I can do none right here and I can do none right here as well. You can you can't just select none on both of it. So you have to select none on all of it so uh now you can see that you have column strokes as well and over here in the stroke uh you can actually disable i'm gonna go to the table setup i'm gonna add this to none as well so i'm gonna just uh have a plain design right here so i'm gonna have none over here uh and there you go so over here on the row and strokes so let's go over here that's uh that's good enough so column strokes uh i'm gonna add in every other column right here there as well and i'm gonna add in none so that it does not show up just like that so i'm gonna add in none you can see that that's the trick of it so I, i'm gonna add it none so all of it is not there first this is the fun one so i can have every other rose that is the alternating alternating pattern so i can have black maybe i'm gonna have yellows over there and on this one i'm gonna have greens so you can see that i got this so I'm going to have dent around 20% right there and you can see that I have this type of a table design. So let me just change that out. So let me just select this one and this one just like this and I got the design uh, that you want. So headers and footers, uh, it's not there. So you can add in a header by increasing a header right, uh, right here. So you can add in a header row just like that. So I'm just going to press, um, uh, let's say, uh, I'm, I want a gap over here. I cannot see a gap. So I'm going to go to column strokes right here. And over here, I'm going to just uh, select white. So I'm going to select paper color. You can see the gap right there. And I'm going to select paper. And you can see that the gap is right there. So I'm going to increase the weight just like this. Again, you can see that you have the gap. So you can easily create uh, very unique look looking tables just by using this. But the title here, I also want this as title over here. So I'm gonna, just going to convert this into a header row. So I'm going to go to table and then convert rows to header and what it actually does is that it'll actually convert the title row and you can see that it'll appear on all of the pages so if i were to add in more data and go into other pages the title uh, will actually appear there so that is how you can easily format tables inside of adobe indesign hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe 